Hey guys, it's Avondale and welcome back to Winning Putt, the golf MMO made by Namco. It's in beta right now, but we're playing and I'm back here with Stelio. And we are in the town square uh, of the golf community. So you look around, we'll see all the shops around here. We'll see some other people playing as well. I'm on one of the less busy servers right now. And I've just been getting used to moving around real quick and seeing some of the stuff you can do. You can hilariously jump. I don't really know why you need to jump as a golfer. Can we, like, get on things? Is there parkour potential? Oh, there is. Can you jump from one bench to the other? Oh. Aww. No parkour skills for Stelio. Now, one of the things I did find out that's pretty cool you can do is when you zoom all the way in, uh, it actually gets you into first-person mode, and I think this is really the way to go here. So we're gonna take a look around. There's Christine. She is, a. Uh, I think we learned that pose back in the tutorial when we were making our character. We're gonna try to go over here. It wants us to do a friendly round now. You can see that in the bottom right hand corner here. We have some challenges. It says we need to experience a friendly round. Uh, it's Winning Putt's basic gameplay mode. You can enjoy a game with different users by selecting a wide range of maps and rules. Shall we experience one? Yeah, absolutely, let's do it. So we need to go talk to this lady over here whose name is Barbara. She is doing a really good job considering there's like 20 people all trying to talk to her at once. You have uh, that guy BMFT and Jurgen and Mitcha S and people Black Queen. Uh, let's Can't talk to her though. Goodbye. I think we're gonna play alone here. Goodbye. <laughs> she just <laughs> tells me to leave. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I wonder if we're going to this place with the castle. We will find out. So one of the things that actually just popped into my head while I was letting that load there is that music in the lobby. I'll have to listen to it next time we go back, but that music really feels like The Sims way back in the day. I still remember that was one of the earlier computer games I ever had. And I would just play The Sims forever and I would always cheat. Uh, <laughs> those were back in the days when cheat codes were really just, I don't know if I should say starting to be popular, but it, it was one of the first times when they were readily available uh, based on internet searches and things like that. So I remember using uh, that cheat code where you would give yourself infinite money. And I set it up this one time so that uh, I had my, my phone laying on the keyboard, right? One of the phones from my house. And the idea was that while we left and went out to dinner or wherever, it was just going to be giving me infinite money. So I did this, right? And I get back and I encountered a bug in the game while I was gone. And it actually rolled the game over into negative money. So when I got back, I had like Bond negative green. six trillion dollars. And there was no way to reverse it. I just had to leave it on and keep increasing money again until it came back around into the positives. And so that was what I did. Uh, I was really devastated. My family on there was going through some rough times. They couldn't afford anything. Luckily, they already had a pretty ridiculous mansion. Uh, <laughs> so they just kind of made do with what they had. So we're looking at a downhill putt here that's going to go to the right. And the downhill ones always break a little bit more than the uphill ones. So we want to see if we can get lucky here with the guess. It's going to take me a while to get really tuned in. That looks good, though. Oh, Stelio! Ah, so close. Good well, we'll par. take a par. Good try, Stelio. And <laughs> there's Chelsea in the background just chilling next to the bag. So apparently we are uh, in Holland now. Is that right? I wonder if it tells me the name of the course we're on here anywhere. Uh, Breezy Hill. Any more information about Breezy Hill? Oh, would you look at that. The GPS, it tells me exactly how far away things are. That's really fantastic. Most golf games nowadays don't really let you pick accurate yardages to different things because they want you to kind of guess it and figure it out yourself, but oh man, wow. <laughs> Silly is driving the ball like crazy. Uh, but yeah, this one is uh, definitely letting me do that, Fairway. which is pretty nice. Pretty happy with those two drives, all in all. Gave myself a chance to birdie on the first hole, couldn't capitalize. This hole's a little bit longer though, Stelio can't reach it yet, so... We don't want to give him any chance to get up past the fairway there into the rough. We just want a nice little layup. Make sure that we can play it from the next position. So yeah, I mean, The Sims was one of the first video games that 
I ever played a lot of. I think my real the first game probably that I that ever Fairway. made me really fall in love with video games uh, was I'd have to say Roller Coaster Tycoon because like looking back at the video games that I played when I was growing up, the first game I ever really had was Pokemon. We my brother and I both got uh, Game Boy Pockets for Christmas from our aunts. Even though my dad didn't want us to have them, my mom kind of snuck them permission to get them for us for Christmas. Uh, so we got those, and we got Pokemon. And Pokemon, I guess, I mean, that was definitely a, a really big love of mine growing up. But I don't think I ever was really truly, like, obsessed and fascinated with a game before Roller Coaster Tycoon. It just gave me... Oh, oh. money. What a par. <laughs> Uh, it, it gave me the first chance I ever had in my life to just create, and I think that was what Pokemon was missing for me, was the creation. Uh, but I just remember, I mean, I was... <laughs> and it's funny because I, I look at kids who play games nowadays, and there are so many younger kids who get into Minecraft, for example, and they play on some of the most hilarious computers you could ever see and you'll watch over their shoulder while they're playing yes. and they're running 10 fps you know and it's like how can you possibly survive on this um you know i'm playing minecraft on a pretty ridiculous computer Andre. but looking back at it that was what i did with roller coaster tycoon i had it on one of my parents old computers at my house i had a hacked client that could play on it that would give me a lot of money so i could build the parts the way that i wanted to but the issue with the hacked client was it corrupted the save files so you couldn't ever reopen a map that you would use the client on so what i did <laughs> oh stelio what i did to avoid that was i took the uh huh. completely lost my train of thought there when i saw all those flashing sparkles i so i i took that my parents computer that was uh, i had up in my attic just next to my room and i just left it on for about a month straight and over this time, I spent probably two hours a night playing, and I built a park with literally every ride that you could possibly imagine in the game, uh, in this park. And it had so many people, and there was so many traffic congestion problems, and blah blah blah. And then I remember we had a power outage, and I lost the park, and I was just devastated. Fair and uh, and I just it it really makes you you know thinking back on stuff like that, it makes you appreciate what we have with games like Minecraft nowadays, and granted a lot of the games, oh, that's going to be bad, <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and a, a lot of the games that we play nowadays uh, are really able to give us uh, ways to access the contents in them that w never existed back in the day. We can take gameplay and uh, capture it, we can exchange save files over the internet the multiplayer aspect of things is nice really significant bunker okay that is just crap <laughs> all right I'm, I'm calling shenanigans on this game now there is no reason you shouldn't be able to hit an eight iron out of a fairway bunker but apparently it's gonna make me hit a sand wedge so let's 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 try the approach wedge and money oh just pretty close yeah so oh, clearly what I've learned from this hole is to never hit it in the bunker because you are going to have a really bad time if you do. Uh, let's see if I can even reach the green out of the rough here. Yeah, another bad shot. Stelio is just choking it up on this hole. Oh, rough. Well, because of just one one mistake on the layup on the par 5. Could have just taken... Got your losses, Stelio, but no, you had to try to be a hero and get it up there. Yeah, not too shabby. So yeah, Roller Coaster Tycoon was a Good big approach. one for me. Uh, when I went to college, though, my taste in video games changed pretty significantly because I started playing with other people, and that was around the same time when uh, multiplayer games started Double to be all buggy. the fad. And, uh, that was when I really started getting into first-person shooters. Halo, uh, specifically, was a big one for me because the campaigns were really good, and I didn't have Xbox Live at the time. I'll tell you though, as soon as Halo 3 came out, I got my first Xbox 360. That was kind of uh, GG for me for a while. <laughs> I played a lot of Halo in college. Still to this day, there's tons of... Stay in the fairway! There we go. There's tons of people that fairway. Uh, I met either online or at college that I still just play Halo with and don't really know them. 
or anything else. So we're not going to make the same mistake here. We're going to go ahead and just lay this one up and try to make a par. I wanted to show you guys too. I mentioned last time the stamina and the mentality bars. There they are. Uh, we're trying to keep the stamina up so we can hit our shots at full distance. And you'll see there I lost three stamina and one mentality. But based on where the ball lands, I should get some of that stuff fairway. back. So I hit it on the edge of the fairway. I got eight experience back. Okay, so I'll bet you I'll get it back at the end of the hole here. Uh, if we make a par, it'll give us some good stuff coming back. So let's make sure we don't overhit this. Oh, bad. It makes the accuracy mistakes on closer yes. shots Approach affect you amazing. quite significantly more. Which I guess is important because with those high lofted clubs, if you make one of those big mistakes on a short swing, it usually does mess you up pretty good. Slightly downhill. We'll try to pretty much full power this though. We can get it to not break as much. Catch good the par. lip. There you go, Stelio. Made the par and you can see here, yeah, we're all the way back up to 28 stamina and 11 mentality. So that, uh, it's important to hit good shots to salvage your stats, I guess. Okay, we're on the finishing hole. Uh, we'll hit a driver. You see the green way up over here and on the mini-map, you can see it's just absolutely perched. Uh, okay, so that's pretty cool. If you hold down middle click, you can pretty easily swing around. What's that over there? Uh, how do I pitch down? Oh, that's the castle. Jeez, isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Incredible. You wouldn't expect this game to look as nice as it does, but it they really did a fantastic job. All right. Here we go, Stella. You've been driving ball great all day. Let's have one more great one. Pretty, pretty darn solid there. Really no complaints wow, for Stella. That was great. Another nice. Flew 174 yards. Got about fairway. 17 yards a run. Stayed in the fairway. That's pretty good. Made made Chelsea and Christine proud, I'm sure. All right. Uh, three iron should be enough to get up there. The biggest issue is we don't want to hit this hill, but I think we're going to be fine. Aim it a little bit left because the ball's below my feet and it should feed off to the right. Uh, boop. Oh, boy. That is just questionable. Looks like I hit it hard enough, though. That's good. <laughs> it's always scary when you're taking on a corner like that Apron. with a bunch of water in it. Oh, and there's the windmills as well. So we gave ourselves a putt for birdie. Wouldn't it be nice if we could sink a bomb here? Get some pretty decent break at the beginning, middle, and then right at the end it's really going to go as it's turning off. So, But the higher I aim, the less it breaks. That might be pretty good there. Alright. Give it enough speed. Perfect. Come on, Stelio. Oh, baby! Yes, birdie. He smokes it in the hole and maxed out his mentality and almost stamina. What a putt. Oh, I get a replay, too. Oh, fantastic. Good way to end the round with a nice long birdie putt there. Uh, I got a valuable birdie. That gave me 10 platinum. Platinum is one of the currencies in this game. Uh, wish I had made the putt on 6 there to offset the uh, mistake I made on the ninth hole. But you can see here it shows you statistics. Hit a couple fairways, all the fairways actually. Uh, missed half of the greens, but I couldn't reach them, so that's not really fair to me. Uh, good putting round. Good experience, good gold. Cool. Fantastic round, really. That's a round for Stelio to be proud of for sure. And I'm 31% to a lucky ball. Let's go back to the square. That's another interesting thing in this game. The clubs have durability, so the more you use them, uh, you have to get them repaired eventually, and that costs you one of the currencies oh, to repair them. It's so hot! <laughs> Somebody's hot. Okay, let's see. Let's move away from these people a little bit. We have a flashing mission button down below here, so let's click that. Okay, so we completed the mission. We can turn it in here and get our gold and our experience. Yep, now our next mission is to ask Evan for club repair like I talked to. It looks like this is actually going to give us a golf club. So, oop! I had another little info thing here. I have a title change available. I can make myself an academy freshman, so let's do that there. I'm not in a guild either. We want to create one of those today before we go, so let's uh, head over here. You can see the arrow is telling me where to go. It wants me to go talk to Evan, the repair shop guy. There's a couple other academy freshmen over here. Well, an academy freshman and a perfect starter. You've been here once or twice. Couldn't so we can repair all of our clubs for 125 gold. We have... 
4,559 gold? Yeah, let's repair them all. Why not? There we go. So we did that. Thank you, Evan. Uh, now I have another mission that I can turn in. Fantastic. That got me that. And now with a new club, I need to equip it with a double click. Fantastic. Double click. There it is. <laughs> now I can go turn in that mission as well. I'm just steaming through these. Mission complete. There we go. And so now it gives us our actual missions. We're kind of done the tutorial mission. We have a few of these different ones. The memorial course, three holes. Uh, press F2 to view the shortcuts. Might as well do that. And then hit good shots. So let's do F2 to view the shortcuts. There's inventory. There's a mailbox. I didn't know about that. G is for guild. B is golf bags. F5 to F9 is macro chat. That one had me confused. Hello! Fairways of greens. Hit them long and straight. <laughs> Good luck. Nice shot. Fantastic. Glad we can sell those things. Got an inventory item down here. Got the hard-boiled eggs. Boost power by 40 for the next shot when used. So I think that's something that I can probably put in in place of this mods thing here. That's good to know. I'd like to uh, check out one more thing here before I go today. I think I'm going to go over to the, talk to Lucy over here. She does the practice range. Want me to open mission again? I bet I have to turn which one was that one in. There we go. Complete mission. Now it wants me to level to level 5. I just leveled up to level 4. Fantastic job, Stelio. Yeah, let's go over here. Kill all these little mo Oh boy, where are you going, Stelio? There we go. Here for a few practice shots? I am here for a few practice shots, Lucy. Let me just get in a little bit closer so Stroke? I can see you up close. Short game. Nice outfit. I like the tie. What is it? She has like a tie clip on. That's kind of interesting. I love talking with Alright, let's here. go They're practice awesome. our short cool. game. Alright, so it's telling me all the different stuff. I can change my location, that's good. Alright, here. So let's just see real quick what practicing is going to be like. And green. Oh, nailed it. Go in the hole, Stelio. Oh! Alright, done. I'm done. <laughs> That's game over. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time when we play some more golf on here. I might even have a guest. We'll see. I've been Avondale. Thanks for watching. Oh, man. Game with different users by selecting a wide range of maps and rules. Shall we experience one? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. So we need to go talk to this lady over here whose name is Barbara. She is doing a really good job considering there's like 20 people all trying to talk to her at once. You have uh, that guy BMFT and Jurgen and Mitcha S and people Black Queen. Uh, let's talk to her though. I think we're going to play alone here. Goodbye. <laughs> she just tells me to leave. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I wonder if we're going to this place with the castle. We will find out. So one of the things that actually just popped up that uh, I had my, my phone laying on the keyboard, right? One of the phones from my house. And the idea was that while we left and went out to dinner or wherever, it was just going to be giving me infinite money. So I did this, right? And I get back and I encountered a bug in the game while I was gone. And it actually rolled the game over into negative money. So when I got back I had like On negative green. six trillion dollars. And there was no way to reverse it. I just had to leave it on and keep increasing money again until it came back around into the positives. And so that was what I did. Uh, I was really devastated. My family on there was going through some rough times. Like there, parkour potential. Oh, there is. Can you jump from one bench to the other? Up. Oh. Ah. No parkour skills for Stelio. Now, one of the things I did find out that's pretty cool you can do is when you zoom all the way in, uh, it actually gets you into first-person mode, and I think this is really the way to go here. So we're gonna take a look around. There's Christine. She is a. Uh, I think we learned that pose back in the tutorial when we were making our character. We're going to try to go over here. It wants us to do a friendly round now. You can see that in the bottom right hand corner here. We have some challenges. It says we need to experience a friendly round. Uh, it's winning puts basic gameplay mode you can enjoy. It popped into my head while I was letting that load there. Is that music in the lobby? I'll have to listen to it next time we go back, but that music really feels like The Sims. 
way back in the day. I still remember that was one of the earlier computer games I ever had. And I would just play The Sims forever, and I would always cheat. Uh, <laughs> those were back in the days when cheat codes were really just, I don't know if I should say starting to be popular, but it, it was one of the first times when they were readily available uh, based on internet searches and things like that. So I remember using uh, that cheat code where you would give yourself infinite money, and I set it up this one time. So <laughs> Hey guys, it's Avondale and welcome back to Winning Putt, the golf MMO made by Namco. It's in beta right now, but we're playing and I'm back here with Stelio. And we are in the town square uh, of the golf community. So you look around, we'll see all the shops around here. We'll see some other people playing as well. I'm on one of the less busy servers right now. And I've just been getting used to moving around real quick and seeing some of the stuff you can do. You can hilariously jump. I don't really know why you need to jump as a golfer. Can we, like, get on things? Is 